Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I have a really super cute fun fold card for you today. This is, um, you know, it's an armoire, a wardrobe, whatever you might want to call it, a freestanding closet. And when you then here you open it up and it has a couple of mirrors on either side. And then, and this is how it opens in the back. So you can write your sentiment. But then it has, we'll, we'll be uh, cutting out the feet. But, um, and then we have the, some hinges and a couple of uh, door pulls. So let me get into it. And what I used for this, I used uh, some retired paper for this, uh, which is the Flora, Flora, whatever it is now off the top of my head. I can't remember what it is, but I know it was Flora something. Um, and then I, um, I die cut or punched the uh, sentiment, the, the circles I punched uh, with some um, circle punches that I have. And um, you can use circle dies, whatever you might want, whatever is easiest for you. So for the car, this is so this one I did in copper clay. And for the hinges, I used uh, the rose gold specialty paper that's in the that's in the catalog. And then the door poles, I used um, the 2023-25 in color dots um these are the dots and and so but i'm going for for the card that i want to show you on camera i'm going to use instead i'm going to use boho blue um because i really like this color and because i wanted to use uh the countryside in designer series paper so i'm going to do that so this is cut a little bit differently. It's cut at five and a half by eight, not eight and a half. So five and a half by eight. And then you're gonna score it at four, not four and a quarter. So um, that's just a little bit different. Now, for the, um, to create the bottom of the bureau, I used the lasting label uh, punch, which is in the catalog. Hold on. I'm going, and then I'm going to, let's see, I just want to make sure I'm doing this right. Um, so you get a punch through both sides. Now, I don't want to do it too high up. I did it a little bit high up on the other one. I'm going to do it a little bit lower. Maybe about there. You can decide how much, how high up you want to punch it. And there you go. So punching it is actually pretty easy. If you have a, a sentiment die, you could try to uh, die cut with a sentiment die. You would probably have to run it through your die cutting machine a few times to get it to go through both um, pieces. But I think that with this punch, this lasting um, label punch, I think it came out really good. So um, I'm pretty happy with that one. So let's stand for our, okay, now for the next step, as you can see on this one, we have an aperture. So we need to cut out that aperture in the middle of it. And the way that I did that was to take, I'm using the deckle dies. Now I would have used the stitch rectangle dies, but they're retired. I still have them, but I prefer to do my videos showing, you know, current products so that if you wanted to get them, you'd be able to. But if I showed stitch rectangle dies and you didn't have them, well, that's unfortunate, right? I don't want to show you something that you can't get. So I'm using the deckle dies. And I'm using the one, two, three, the fourth, the fourth largest deckle die. And we're going to cut, die cut 
an aperture just on the just on the front piece. So I'm just gonna bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine. Okay. Here it is. And I'm going to use plate number one, number two, number three, and then I'm going to put my card down. I'm going to put the deckle die in the center, and then I'm going to put another another of my plate number three, and then I'm just going to run it through. Okay, get this out of here. And I'm going to save this piece and use it for another project. And we now have our aperture. Now I'm going to just press that down a little bit. And so what you'll want to do, and I'm not sure if I got it completely centered. I might not have, but that's okay. Um, I want to, you're going to want to put a piece of designer series paper inside. And, you're, you know, what you'll do is do it on this side. Um, and then you'll see the back, you will see the back side. Um, also be mindful when you're putting your design series paper in or, or cutting it to, if it has a pattern that uh, is directional, you'll want to make sure that it's appropriate that you're cutting it the right way to go in. So if I had done this this way, it probably would have been okay, but you see the flowers are going in that direction. So no, that's really not great. So. I am going to now just tack this down on the inside. And I'm going to, let me see, I'm going to put my, and what I'm going to do is put my whoop, glue, I may have smeared it a bit much. I'm just going to put it around the edges. Okay. And now I'm going to put it down. And I'm not going to be putting anything um, over this. You're just going to be able to see it. You can always decorate it um, if you want, however you might want. Oh, this is obviously moved around. Okay, so this is now what the front uh, looks like. And then the next step is you're going to need two, you need to cut two pieces. And these are also cut out of boho blue. And they're cut at four and one quarters by two and one quarter. And these are going to be the armoire doors. All right now, it looks like it's going to be too wide, but it's actually not because we're going to do a little bit of scoring and they're going to fit perfectly. So I'm going to bring in my scoring tool because I really like this thing. And, let's see, you're going to score using the small stylus that comes with this scoring tool. And you're gonna score it at half an inch. So there's the half an inch. So the first score is going to be half an inch. And then from there, you're going to score it every quarter inch. 
So that'll be measure two over, then go two over. Let me see where did I leave off. One, two, score that. Just keep scoring at every quarter inch. And you're going to do the same thing with your second piece. You're gonna score it at half an inch and then at a quarter of an inch, every quarter of an inch after that. All right, that's as much scoring as we're going to do. Easy, right? Okay, so you're not going to fold on those score lines except on the half inch one. So you're gonna, wherever you see it's indented, flip it over and then score along that, that first half inch score line. That's the only one you're going to fold and score the others. And the reason is because we want it to look like that um, beadboard that you will see sometimes. So that's what we're, that's the effect we're looking for. Okay. Okay. Now what we're going to do is, um, these are going to be tacked down, you know, so each of these will be on the outer ends. These, these two half, half inch marks will be on the outer ends. And we're going to tack them down in the center. So you're gonna just put them in the center uh, to see where you want them to go. And there'll be, there'll be a little bit of, uh, you know, space on either side. So, uh, let me see, oh, here's my glue. I'm going to put, I'm gonna lay them down, down. I'm gonna put the glue on at the same time. Oops, okay, Ooh, I don't want that. Okay, so now I'm going to lay them down at the same time so I can get them to be lined up because I want to press them together. I want the doors to be together. And then you're just going to press the edges because that's the only thing we glued. And then you have your doors. Okay, now because I've got a couple of layers on there now, I'm just going to give it another press with my bone folder just to... Now, it's not going to lay completely flat. The doors are going to pop open a little bit. You see, so no, it's not going to be completely flat. And that's, you know, that's okay. So for the... Um, Oh, you know what? Before I show you the uh, the hardware for the mirrors, now I die cut these two pieces from rose gold. Now I would have used silver for the silver foil paper, but you know what? I didn't have any. I used it all up, and so I'm going to just use the the rose gold as the mirrors, if you will, uh, on the inside. Now, you don't have to put mirrors on the inside of your armoire, but I'm going to put them on the inside of mine. And I think that's just such a cute feature. Oh, and I, let me, I'll show you. I, you, the, the, um, the dye that I use for this is from the Brightest Glow. I'll show it to you in a second. And that's from last year's holiday um, catalog, and it's carried over. So this is the 
a stamp set. Now I didn't use anything from the stamp set, but I used the labels of glow. And this was the this is the um, this is what I used to die cut the mirrors. Now you can pretty much use anything if you have another die that you would I just used this one because I thought it was kind of fancy. So you can use whatever you would like. I just think that this adding the um, the little mirrors inside is kind of cool. I love this. There we go. All right, so now for the hardware on the, the hardware. What I used, let's see, to punch it out and to make it super, super easy, I used the best label punch, tiny, right? And I'm using, um, I'm gonna, now I could use more of the rose gold on this. I could, um, or I can just use, you know, keep it monochromatic. And, you know, I have a little glue on that. Let me get my, my little glue eraser. See if I can get that off. Yes. I get this, I get these at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Just so you know, they sell them there. Um, I'm gonna punch out a couple in the blue. I need four, actually, not just a couple. And I'm putting my hand over it before I punch so it doesn't go flying across the room. Um, okay, so if we did that, then it would be kind of, it would be like monochromatic, right? Almost can't see it. So I'm just going to grab my... Uh, rose gold foil paper real quick all right I've been abusing this paper like crazy <laughs> all right so let me just punch I'll punch a couple Oh, oh, there it is, it's stuck to my finger. And I think, um, oh, there we go. I don't know that I, I could do that so that it's, um, so we have the, you know, almost like, you know, the brass fittings or brass, um, hardware and then or we could do that which is more uh, monochromatic actually I'm going to use the blue because I have an idea and it won't be it won't it will be visible so all we're going to do where is uh, we're going to oops, let me open this we're just going to glue them down You're not gonna pop them up or anything like that. Oop, I have to wipe that off. Okay. And we're gonna put, um, I'm going to put four. Isn't this just the cutest little armoire? I think it's, you know, whoever you give it to is going to just think it's so adorable.
You could even make it into like a baby's uh, armoire. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so what I think I'm going to do is take um, my Boho Blue Stampin' Blend, <coughs> the skinny side, the bullet side, and I'm going to just put some dots on the hinge. And that way it's going to make it stick out a little bit more. Okay. I'm just putting four dots on each one. See how, how that made a difference? I think it made a huge difference. Okay, let me put my glue top back on. Now for the door pulls, um, there's a couple of things that you can do. Now I'm probably going to put the um, Boho Blue Gem Dots. But you could use, you know, the copper clay instead. So we could do something that, you know, with a different color to make it stand out so it's not so monochromatic. Another thing is, I think these, I don't know, I think these are retired. But these are the rustic metallic adhesive back dots. And you could put one of those on if this is what you happen to have. I'm going to um, I'm going to try one of the copper clay just for so that it's a little bit of a different color. And that way it kind of um, sticks out and uh, looks more like a door handle you would expect to see on an armoire. All right, so for the, let's see, let me move this, some of the stuff out of the way. For the inside, I stamped a happy birthday sentiment from, oh yeah, from the Circle Sayings stamp set. And then I used a couple of different size uh, circle punches, but you don't have to do circle punches. You can do, you know, you could make it into a sentiment label, um, you know, with the boho blue uh, backing on it, if that's what you prefer. I just have, I just happen to like my punches, even though, you know, some of them are retired. I don't like to get rid of my, my punches. Okay. And I'm going to put that on right on the inside. Pop it up on dimensionals so that when the person opens it, there it is. It says, oops, sorry, it says happy birthday. Now, and then here's the, um, here's the inside. Now, I do also have just a piece of basic white. I'm not stamping in it, and this will be, you know, you can write your sentiment on it. You can put, you can put another um, stamped sentiment if you wanted to. I'm just gonna leave it plain. And there you have it. So cute. Especially with the little mirrors in it. Makes it look like a real armoire. And then on the inside. And then this is the one for that was made with copper clay. 
and also with the rose gold uh, foil paper and the and then I used also the uh, copper clay uh, gem dots and the rose gold brackets and there you have it so I hope that you enjoy this I hope you'll give it a try I appreciate you tuning in I'm going to put the measurements and the supplies in the description below I uh, along with a link to uh, my store in the event that you would like to make a purchase. So I appreciate that you uh, join me today and join me again for my next video. Thanks and bye-bye for now.